Hey guys, this is Dipankar back with the video of a new smartphone by Infocus. This phone brings dual camera in the budget segment and packs a large battery. After seeing the box, you can also guess the presence of a display with 18 to 9 aspect ratio. Dual camera and 18 to 9 aspect ratio display are the latest trends in the smartphones, so Infocus brought both in a budget device. This new phone is Infocus Vision 3, Vision because of a full Vision display. Key specs of this phone are 5.7 inches HD plus display, dual camera, 8 megapixels front camera and 4000 mAh battery. Before I talk more about this phone, let's check the unboxing and find out what things this phone brings for you. This is Infocus Vision 3. It reminds me the Infocus Snap 4 we used few months back. I will be back to this phone later. Before that, we should check the box. Here are manual and warranty papers. A micro USB cable. A SIM ejector pin. A power adapter for charging. And that's it. Infocus Vision 3 looks similar to Infocus Snap 4 and the only notable change is the location of speaker. Now speaker is on the back. The phone feels great and looks beautiful. The build quality is also good. For adding a 5.7 inches display in the form factor of 5.5 inches of smartphone, capacitive touch keys have been replaced with on-screen navigation keys. Now you see thinner bezels around the display. The volume rocker is on the left. The right side has the power button and hybrid SIM card slot. Top side has 3.5mm audio port and the base side has the micro USB port and primary microphone. Back panel has dual camera with LED flash at top left side. Fingerprint sensor is on the top center side. And at the base side of back panel, you also see the Infocus branding and speaker. This was the physical overview and I really like the design of this phone. The phone has a 5.7 inches HD plus 18 to 9 display. Quad-core MediaTek MT6735 processor clocked at 1.3 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of storage and Android 7.0 Nougat. You get a dual camera setup with 13 megapixels and 5 megapixel sensor at the back. The front side has 8 megapixel sensor. Camera also has a PIP mode to capture photo from both rear camera and front camera at the same time. You can also capture awesome portrait. The first impressions of the camera are also very good and I will talk about the camera in detail in the full review video of Infocus Vision 3. There are also lots of software features including the dual apps feature, a private mode and several gestures. The phone packs a 4000 mAh battery but lack of fast charging is a disadvantage. I am not going into details of anything. I have already planned a full review video that will be coming very soon. So don't forget to subscribe our channel to get notifications of all upcoming videos. If you have any specific question, you can leave it in the comment and I will try to answer that in the upcoming full review video. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and take care.